Good morning, Earthlings. It's gardening day, and this is Cher with gardening in your pajamas. Ha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, hi, baby. Hi. How are you, sweetheart? You have every right to be afraid of me. Yes, you do. Where are you going? What's she doing? Hi, cutie. Oh wow, where are you going? Huh? You're getting awful close to me. My goodness, what are you doing here? I could almost reach out and touch you. Where are you going? Oh my god, that thing is cute. Hi, good morning Earthlings. Welcome to Gypsy Gardening with Cher. What do you do there? Well, you figure out that we're probably not going to be in the same spot very long, so how do we make the plants that we grow for our garden work for when we're leaving and traveling? And how can we find the plants that are around us that are edible? This is, this is from that maple tree over there. And these are not bad. <laughs> I just like asparagus. You don't have to cook them. But what other things are there here in my environment that I could eat? This here, you know what that is? That's a fiddlehead. That's a fern. I'm gonna have to pull that up because I don't want it to die. That is a baby fern. That's a fiddlehead, and you can eat those. You cut them, you boil them. It tastes a lot like asparagus, but asparagus they grow on a farm is not gonna have the nutrients that it does out here in the forest. I would imagine that if you wanted something amazing, you'd want to use the dirt from the forest. Anyway, I'm doing my work now. I'm gardening in my pajamas. <laughs> we all know how to do a raised bed, right? But I think there's more nutrition and more vitamins and more of that stuff right out of the ground, right in the forest. I don't want to take anything that's going to hurt anything. but. There are lots of plants here that you can eat. But we're not gonna just start eating plants off the ground. Well, that's what I did. Because <laughs> some of them are poisonous. <laughs> All right, I'm not suicidal. I'm not gonna eat the plants out that I don't know. But this is a green onion. And I'm gonna show you how I can just, how you can just take this green onion and put it in your, your thing there. <laughs> All the plants that I grow in my garden are able to be harvested right now. I mean, we don't have to keep it in the ground for 130 days. A lot of these things, you can eat them at any time. Try beets, right? You can, you can, you can eat the sprout. We get, to, you can eat the plant. You can eat it when it's little, little beet, and you can eat it when it's big beet, and you can keep it in the ground and have its seeds. But all along the way, you can eat that thing. And so what kind of things work that way? Tomatoes don't, corn doesn't, I don't eat those things anyway. So what kind of things should we eat? What should we put in our garden? <laughs> all right, I already got started, so I'm gonna show you that now. I don't wanna eat that, it's onion. <laughs> there it is, baby. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Where did you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> Whoa! Holy cow! Where are you, sweetheart? <laughs> this is what happens when you invite your neighbors into your living room. Come on in and play with me. No, that's my living room. I got a couch. What do you mean it's not a living room? I got my couch here. Where she don't sit there because when it rained, it got wet. <laughs> That's okay, because underneath here, oh, the leg fell down. <laughs> I wouldn't sit there. And I got my projects out here, and I got my friends. This is my living room. This place to sit down out here. My Look, I like to have a living room here, because um, these these guys, the tree, like this one here, that's well, dead. It's dead. But these trees are my friends. God, they, just, they sound so weird. Anyway, these are Douglas. These are Douglas firs. I love that. 
and they would never fit in my house. And so I have to bring my house outside because I prefer these kinds of house plants. They don't do very good as house plants. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work and this guy's, I don't see him anymore. I probably scared him. Oh baby, he's so sad. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. What am I doing? I was, I was gardening. That's what I was gardening. Yeah, I was gardening. Here, I'm gonna garden. I hope when you garden, you don't work as hard as I do. <laughs> my gardening. <laughs> These are my gardening skills. <laughs> My chipmunk friend came for lunch and I didn't want to disappoint him so I put out a whole bunch of lunch munchies things and he came for lunch and he left real quick so um, I don't mind, he's kind of cute. <laughs> I'd rather have him than that cat. The cat came in my house, made my house stink. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to get to work. I know, I was going to show you my gardening skills. I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you. How. i got to get ready though. Okay. So you have to think about, if you couldn't go to the grocery store anymore, how are you going to eat? What are you going to want? And, well, I think if you have mint, and you have nettles, and you have other things from the ground, you're going to have plenty of tea stuff. So, I have lots of different kind of mint, and mint should be able to go like crazy, so you should be able to keep it trimmed and so you can always have some tea. But you don't have to dry it out like everybody does. No, you don't. What you can do to make tea, you can cut it, you can dry it a little bit if you want to, but I don't dry it. I, I showed you how I, well, this is how I make nettle tea. If I want to add a little bit of mint, I just go ahead and cut it and put it in there. Who says it has to be dried? Though whoever said it had to be dried, they can dry it, but you don't have to. And I also get some of the oils and the natural oils and all the other things that was supposed to have. Anyway, make sure you have mint in your garden. Mint is nice because you can put it in a pot, but my cellar jay doesn't like it when I'm out here. What? What? Come on. He said, I don't want to, I don't want to eat there. How come? Is my restaurant too busy for you? Huh? Is the restaurant too busy or what? Uh, yeah, that's the shy one. I got a bunch of stellars and that one's shy. But it's like, pff, I put the nuts out for you. Now you're going to be shy. Holy cow. Maybe I don't have nuts out. i got to go see. Look how I'm working. Don't you know I'm working? Do you think I do nothing but just service you guys all day? All right. I do. Oh, look at this. My camera broke. My life fell apart. And the sadness fell. A, the gravest, gloomiest sadness fell upon the land when my camera broke. So now I don't know what I'm filming. I just point it in the direction that I think you want to see. I turn on the button. Anyway, that's the sadness that ruins my life. I'm gonna get started. <laughs> Good morning, Earthlings. It's gardening day. I'm gonna call this Gypsy gardening in your pajamas, because it's so easy. <laughs> so I started this out by getting some plants. I always do it this way. I don't think it's cheating. I think we need to encourage ourselves. Okay. Then I went by a, I went by a nursery and they were throwing this stuff away. Right? This is actually what I was looking for. This is my garden this year. This is my garden this year. This is what it's going to be like. Because, because I really want to plant, but 
I'm going to have to be moving before I can harvest. So I'm going to stick this in the dirt. That way that the bugs and the worms and stuff can get up into the plants and be part of my life. But when it's time to go, I'm going to pull the sucker right out of the ground. And it'll be full of my plants when I get to wherever I'm going. What, peepers? I'm going to put this right in there. But peepers is the cutest thing in the whole world ever. That's say. peepers. Aren't ya? Just a little song sparrow. It's so cute. Peepers and I have been friends for a long time. And that, that is, is fun. So I love my birds. You can tell I've been kind of lonely on the island. I don't have my regular friends here, and it's my fault that I don't make friends. It's my fault. So the birds have become my friends. I love them. Okay, so here I'm going to get some work done today. I have my... I got my compost pile there. Oh, peepers. Peepers like my compost, too. They like that. So you can already see what's going on here. This is my compost pile. And almost every day, I come out here and I give it a good stir. And it's only organic stuff in here. I don't eat anything that's not organic. And this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. That right there. That's forest. Now the reason I like this is because everything is like, okay, organic to the core of it, but not only that, but the, the microorganisms that live in here have been here since the beginning of time, and they're hungry, and I give them some snacks to eat, and then they give me their whatever they do, and that's what I use in my garden. So distracting. I don't process it as much as you normally do because I really don't think it needs it. All I think it needs is for the microorganisms to continue to eat the stuff. So now I'm going to take these things that the nursery was throwing out and there's a plant. It has a root. Come on you guys, you're throwing that away. And anyway, I'm going to use I'm going to use this dirt in my compost pile. It's not as good as what I already have, but look at this. That's how they're throwing it away. I'm going to plant that over here. Yeah, I'm going to forget it's there, so it'll be a surprise. You do it with your hands because that's good nutrients and you put it on your skin it your skin actually gets the nutrients in it you think I'm nuts well I'm sorry if you think I'm crazy uh, la, 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 la. you like crazy people I might as well keep it up mix it up really good and anything that's too big like that can go back in there yeah. yep. that's good stuff but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna put leaves on it first I put a layer of leaves on there first to keep the dirt in. And that's the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna be careful to just use the little stuff. And by now, there's lots of them. I'll go through it and kind of go, th I mean, hands look great, don't they? Oh, <laughs> my leftover crap from my, gar my garden stuff. Like everything I didn't eat, I put in here. And then I even put a little worms in here because I like worms. I like them. They're my friends. Okay, so then it's 
see, that's what it ended up. The little microorganisms started eating it. They ate it. And now that's what it looks like after they ate that. And that's what's good for your garden because it's got great stuff in it. It's the worm poop. <laughs> it is. And where are you going to get worm poop? Well, you're going to get it out of a worm's butt. I'm not going to say that. It's like a family show. So if you're going to get a worm poop, you, know, you want to get it out of a worm's butt, you have to have a worm. Well, what's that? you got to have a worm. <laughs> anyway, I'm just enjoying this gardening on this beautiful day. Now that looks, that's almost. So as soon as I'm done fiddling with this, I'm going to put it right back in the ground and let it keep going. And it'll go. It'll keep going for the next time. Okay, that looks pretty darn good, I think. Yeah, a little more. A little more. Now that's just, there's no dirt. Like it's just from the forest, the forest dirt. That's all, because the forest dirt has a lot of microorganisms in it that help us, help us digest and it helps us. Okay. There. Okay, I got that. What's that? <laughs> now sometimes when you have a plant in here that you compost, it'll grow in here. But that's okay. That's a peanut. <laughs> okay, so I'm done with this one. I'll show you what the next step is. I'm going to plant this in there. <laughs> it's a geranium. And then I'm going to put this top it off. Just to make it smooth and nice. Nice and smooth. Yeah, okay. That looks like a garden to me. Does that look... My hands look great, huh? Do you like it? I should go into the place where they do nails and say, Hey, they'll kick me out. Okay, so there it is. Just from a food bank. They're green onions. <laughs> but I, I can grow them into be big onions. I like that. Actually, a, um, <laughs> this is so silly. Actually, it looks like I got a garden already going. With this. Yeah. Right. There you go. All right, and you think about what the lettuce is going to be like this. And this is actually going to be down in the bottom. So it works out pretty nice together as far as space. Space! Yeah. So then, I'll put this here. <laughs> yep. And now... There, now my garden is in. And there it is. There it is. I got onions. He's get in there. I got cilantro. I got some lettuce. And then the spinach. That's my garden. And that's it. I'm gonna water it. And then I'm gonna watch it grow. And when I have to move, dirt on me, oh, I just take it back. Then when I move, I just take it with me. I pull it up out of the ground, and I haven't hurt anything. And there, that's how I garden. That's a gypsy garden. All right, so this is, these are natural things from where I lived before that I picked up and put in here. And you would say they're weeds but I don't care. It looks like they're gonna start going and this tree might, doesn't look like it made it. Oh well. So when a tree doesn't make it, you just pull it out and say, I'm sorry, I tried. Now this is blackberry and you're saying, oh, why did you put the blackberry in your garden? We're trying to get rid of it. Yep, you do, but I don't. That's a Himalaya blackberry the blackberries on that little thing are tiny and they're very sweet. Holy cow. This is a fern that I rescued. Remember the fiddleheads? These are fiddleheads. You can eat those. This is a strawberry plant that I got from my daughter-in-law. Oh, that's dead. Okay, what's in here? This is a fern that I tried to rescue and there's some grass. This is mint, and I think this thing had died. I don't remember what it was even. 
it looks like. I'm going to leave it there though, but that's mostly mint now. I don't know what that's something. I keep the weeds in there. I know. That's my garden. And I love my garden. I like this kind of gardening a lot better than rows. It seems like I can keep the things that are supposed to be here and just plant alongside them. I, I, I want to be responsible with the earth. That's how you do it. If you pull up your whole garden and then if you pull up your whole garden and plant something stupid in there, you're going to end up with something stupid in your garden. I'm planting, come on, I'm planting stellar jays. Hi. What are you going to do? There you go. Ha! <laughs> there. Okay. Jeez. I can't think of anything else I wanted to tell you. Um, I do have to go look at the whales. That's important, so I can't spend a lot of time in my garden. That's why I don't. I'm going to let the garden take care of itself now. Just water it whenever. But, okay. So why am I teaching you how to have a gypsy garden? Well, it seems like the gypsies were really good at finding food for their family. I mean, she probably had five kids and one day her husband says, come on, let's go to Spain. So she throws everybody in the thing, goes off to Spain. What happens to her garden? Well, if she's smart, she takes it with her or she just finds it. She just finds it. <laughs> this is from that maple tree over there. It just fell on the ground. And um, I wondered if it was edible. <laughs> so I ate some. And I found it really, really good. Once you get used to it. But you see, there's going to be a time when we're going to be out of food. And if you don't know that you can eat this, you're not going to make it. And that's what a gypsy garden is for me. A gypsy garden is I gotta move. I can't stay here. I got a couple more days before I have to be on the road. But I love to garden. So what am I gonna do with my garden when I go? Well, with a gypsy garden, you take it with you. And you also know the different plants that are around you that you can eat. And you eat them. I don't need to go to the grocery store for a whole lot of stuff if I know that I can eat this. So, there it is. This is my little gypsy garden. And I am getting, I'm getting packed up to move. So, I'm just going to water it good, let it set. Then I'm going to put it in this place where we're going to move it. It'll be, it's going to be, a, I don't know how long. So, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Until later, I'm going to work, I'm moving, my living room is gone, it's a forest again. Ha <laughs> ah, I know, I'm in a hotel. <laughs> okay, until later, I gotta go back to the hotel and we'll show you what happens with that story. But that's the gypsy garden. That, that's it. Here, look at this, pretty. That's pretty. Hey, welcome to my new home. <laughs> I live here now. <laughs> oh. well, anyway, I'm in my hotel room and I'm looking at my garden. I am. I just brought that one. The other one is still there. But Mm -hmm. I was just sitting here, kind of missing home or whatever. I remember the beach walk when I got these stones. And I just, I feel like I'm doing a beach walk. And I'm enjoying my, my garden. And I don't want to eat it because it's too cute. <laughs> it's my garden and gardens are supposed to be eaten, but this is grounds me 
having these vegetables growing in my room. I just feel like this was all the compost that I had made. I can't make compost now. Look. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just enjoying my gypsy garden. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa, holy cow. Ooh, can you even see that? Ah, that's an egg, and I put it right here in my garden. <laughs> I'm on the go farm. <laughs> I'm here at the go farm, and I was able to bring my gypsy garden with me. Oh, see? Don't you need just a little bit of lettuce? This stuff is growing in really good, really good dirt. Yeah, it's a good little salad. Uh, I have other things, but this stuff, yeah, I got this. There's a fennel kind of thing. So I just pick what I want. And actually, the new ones will come up. That's basil. Oh, I put a potato in here. <laughs> it started to grow, so I popped it in there. I know that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to dig it in, but that's what I did. Anyway, until later. That's how I garden. I garden a really easy way. The way that I can live in my environment with my birds and not feel guilty about taking something away from them. And then when it's time for me to go, oh, bye. Anyway, it is whale season. So what am I doing here until later? I hope you find your ya. Yeah. I hope you think that gardening is okay for you to do, even if you don't have a permanent home. If this is too much, just get a pot. If that's too much, Try a paper bag. I don't know. But get the garden. That helps you. Until later. I'm going to work. <laughs> I'm going to put my sweet potato. When you, when you grow a sweet potato, don't you normally put toothpicks in it? Well, I'm not going to do the toothpicks. Because i got to hide the fact that I've picked up almost every rock off the beach. But I don't want anybody to, I don't really want anybody to know that was what I did. So I'm going to turn it into a, a potato garden. Here we go, sweet potato garden. Okay, so, okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. That's it. I didn't even get to finish the song. Oh, yeah, I do. Da, 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 da. Is it in far enough? No, it's not in far enough. Here, I'm up. Okay, so <laughs> let's try it again. Right. There. Now our happiness level has gone through the roof. I'm going to put this in there. Holy cow. <laughs> what kind of drugs are you on? I'm not on drugs. Derek, what do you think about my sweet potato gardening? Do you think you could do that? Sweet potato on the rocks. <laughs> yam cocktail is served. What? Yam cocktail. Okay, so that's us for gardening. Gardening with chipmunk. <laughs> that's how gypsies garden. He's actually he's actually gardening.